Creating a porcelain doll is a meticulous and time-consuming process, with painting being a crucial element. It's where the doll truly comes to life, as each brushstroke adds character and personality. It requires patience and skill. And today, I want to share what I've learned about it over the years of doll making. To help you get started with painting porcelain dolls, it's important to understand the materials required for this process. They are quite different from the usual paints and have to be fired in the kiln. These paints are usually called china paints because they are used to decorate porcelain plates and other porcelain objects. They come in a powder form and contain ground mineral compounds and flex. It can include various metals like gold or lead, so it's important to do some additional research before purchasing the paints. Nowadays you can get lead-free china paints, so it's worth investing in those. But even the paints that contain lead are quite safe to use if you follow safety precautions. Also, it's worth mentioning that the amounts of lead are tiny. The powders have to be mixed with various mediums to create the paint itself. I use different oil blends that have distinct qualities. Some dries faster than the others, some are more suitable for blending the colors, others are the best for fine brushwork, like painting the lashes. You can also use turpentine, but I like the oils better. Remember that the main purpose of a medium is to hold the pigment together, so don't be intimidated by the huge selection of mediums out there. You will also need a selection of soft brushes. I usually use synthetic watercolor brushes. You have a few different sizes. Some will be needed for placing the color, others for blending. Having a few very thin liner brushes will be useful for tiny details like painting the eyes, eyebrows or lips. And that's almost all materials, not including the kiln, that will be needed to fire the paint. I also use a ceramic palette for mixing the paints, but any hard, easy to clean surface will do. I find porcelain painting fascinating because when the porcelain and the china paints are fired in the kiln, they bond together on a molecular level. The paint merges with porcelain, creating a soft and beautiful look. Unlike regular painting, the layers and translucency are still visible, and at the same time, the paint just never sits on top. To start painting, take a little bit of powder, in my case I'm using brown and a little bit of red, and mix them with a medium. To avoid any clumps of powder, I mix everything with a metal tool into the smooth paste. This will be a base color for body blushing, so I'm preparing more paint than usual. The first layer is always quite sheer and I use the same shade to give the body more definition and color. I place the color in small dots and using a different brush that has a little bit of medium on it, blend everything into the porcelain. I try to accentuate naturally blushed or shaded areas and keep this first layer very sheer. Remember that you can't remove the paint after the firing, so working in sheer layers will give the best results. Because of how translucent the paint are, I need up to 8 layers to complete painting the face. Every layer has to be fired in the kiln, so it's a lot of work, but I love how beautiful the results are. Being patient is key when painting porcelain dolls. I find the process of painting to be a meditative journey. 
with a podcast or calming music playing in the background, I spend my day painting the doll, taking my time with each piece. Even the first layer with this simple one color is a peaceful and enjoyable experience. I repeat the same steps with other pieces of the porcelain doll. Place a few dots of paint and blend them with a different brush using a little bit of medium. This first layer can give the body some color even if you're using white porcelain. The camera doesn't pick up these subtle shades, but even this first layer gives the doll more definition and accentuates its features. When all the pieces have been painted with the first layer, I leave them to dry before firing in the kiln. You will see that they lose the sheen from the oils and become matte. That means the paint has dried completely. As I mentioned before, each layer of paint needs to be fired in the kiln. That means up to 8 firings, at least in my case. China paints have a range of firing temperatures that I will put on the screen. So you need to test your paints beforehand to find the temperature that works for you. I suggest making a test tile that will have every shade of paint you own. In this test you will see that some colors stay more vibrant, others lose much more pigment after firing. If the color lose almost all pigment, that means the temperature was too high. So you need to find a happy middle for the shades you are using. I absolutely love painting faces for my dolls. With each layer, they become more and more alive. I like painting the eyes too, but I know some artists prefer to use glass eyes. So that's an option as well. I'll show you how this face turns out at the end of the video. But here are some faces I've painted too. I continue painting the doll by adding more details with each layer. Some parts need to be blushed a few times for the color to really show up. Others I leave more subtle. With all the layers, it takes me weeks to complete painting one doll. But if you are a beginner, you don't have to be this detailed with your work. Experiment with your own painting techniques and see what fits your dolls. When I'm painting small areas, I try not to mix too much paint. Some mediums dry faster, so you might need to mix the colors right before painting. If you are mindful with your paints, these glass vials will last you for years. Some of them I have for 5 years already, and they are still full. Now, just a few finishing touches are left before the doll will be ready for stringing. It turned out beautifully and I'm very happy with all the painted features. All the materials I mentioned in this video will be linked in the description below, but I'm happy to answer your questions in the comments as well. I hope you found this information interesting and new. If you want to see a full walkthrough on how I paint my porcelain dolls, 
check out the video tutorial on my Patreon page. I will link that in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Thank you.